Okay, hello everybody, I'm Conquering History Games, and today, I'm checking to see if the game capture card is gonna, is gonna work out how it's set up, um, and I just, um, I already streamed this morning, I was gonna stream something else, but, uh, some things happened. Anyway, we're gonna, um, we're gonna play some Banjo-Kazooie, uh, a game I played when I was young, rented it from Blockbuster. Boom! Conquering history games confirmed. Um, but, but one that I didn't actually finish because you know when you rent, you only have so many days that you've got the the game. So I hadn't finished it. And uh, what we're just gonna do is uh, we're just gonna goof around a little bit here. Oh man, I just realized that I have something wrong with the stream here. It says I'm playing Fire Emblem, which I'm not. We fix that. We're going to play a now 25-year-old game. I know I've got audience members who aren't that old. <clears throat> ding dong, ding dong by the bench. Who is the nicest looking wench? Why, it's Grunty any day. She really takes my breath away. Mm-hmm. <coughs> <laughs> Extend me out from the crowd. Mm -hmm. um, uh, there is this girl. Why, it's Tootie, young and small. She's the prettiest girl of all. No, 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 you must be mad. Nicer beauty can't be had. Unfortunately, I think you'll find it's Tootie. She's cute and kind. <laughs> That's great. Simple motivation for the villain to prove she's a villain. Hi there, Tootie. What are you going to do today? When my big lazy brother wakes up, we're going on an adventure! Oh, she's Bilbo Baggins. I has a picture of her by his bed, isn't that nice? You see, this is visual storytelling, people. Everyone wants to go on adventures. So I really need you guys to tell me uh, how the audio is sounding. Because that's what I'm mainly doing here today is testing this stuff. Is that your brother? Where, Mr. Mole? I can't see him. I'm just a girl. No, I'm kidding. Okay. Hey, she lives just really just right there. That's what, football field or two away from his house? <laughs> hags, you don't want to mess with hags, people. Okay, let me do some little adjusting here. The decibel levels. Okay. All right. Let's turn down the in-game audio a little bit. All right. Uh, let's see. I don't remember the controls to this as well as Super Mario. Well, they're gonna give me a tutorial from what I remember. Cause you gotta learn how to use uh, use Kazooie. Bottles, the short-sighted mole. I'm Banjo, and this here's my buddy Kazooie. Oh gosh, I've turned him into uh, the cleric from my D&D game that I play in. 
Better than you can, Goggle Boy. What was all that noise about? Where is my sister Tootie? The ugly witch grunt Grunt Ilda, that was her name. What a name. Fantastic. Calm down, geeky. I remember because you had a little attitude. Alright. Need some training before you go up there. Press A if you want me to teach you some basic moves. Or press B if you think you're already good enough. No, 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 we want A, we want A. Well, yeah, press an A. Explore this area and look out for my molehills. Stand next to them and press B to call me. See you soon. I remember there was the really big jump you could do. The vertical jump and that sort of was the key to opening up everything. Dun, 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 dun. Okay. There we go. Okay. So again, let's start the camera controls. They're on the yellow C buttons. That's nothing special. Mario did it already! Tap R to move the camera behind Banjo. Is that all worm breath? <laughs> Hold R to keep it. I'll see you at the next molehill. Okay, so there's not. Uh, I'm I'm using a, I'm using an 8-bit do SN30 Pro Plus controller. So that's PlayStation style, basically. So the C stick is the joystick, and that actually uh, works out really nicely. Yeah. So. Okay, so hit B. Okay, so I go forward to zoom in. Back doesn't zoom out. Okay, it's the it's the right shoulder, not right trigger. Okay, let's uh let's look around for other molehills. Huh. Wait, what if I do this? Oh, that's strange, it's like a crouch. I'm messing around with the other buttons. Okay. Alright, I think it's B to interact, right? Okay. Okay. Burp, 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 burp. Yeah, I was uh, kind of motivated to play this one in particular for oh wait, A to jump, A to jump higher? Okay, A. Hello there, Ted Rayfication. Yep, 25 years ago. So for scale, when this game came out, that would be as if somebody played a video game. Well, they didn't really have video games back then, uh, at least not mass-produced ones. Uh, but yeah, this would be, playing this right now is like if somebody, when Banjo-Kazooie came out in 1998, Playing, uh, uh oh, am I stuck? Oh shoot, is there a glitch? Oh god, am I glitched? Oh, oh no, I think it was just holding me in place until I did the thing. Not until you learned this one. Oh yeah, but I was saying, so, so, so in 1998, that would be like if somebody was doing something from 1973, which was a heck of a year. I was talking about it with somebody recently, how, um, 1973, like 50 years, uh, 50 years ago this week was when um, Pink Floyd's Dark Side of the Moon came out and Gravity's Rainbow. Oh god, wait. Oh shoot, I didn't pay attention. Hold Z, then press A, so there's no Z button. Oh, okay, yeah, so it makes sense. Right, there we go. Short pants, yeah, future shorts. Yeah, so so I was a little motivated because like I'm still I'm still trying to get things working with my computer since I goofed around with it so much. But uh, one of the things that uh, I decided to do something from the N64, which I forgot to uh, cancel the subscription before it renewed, and uh, I didn't get to play this one anyway. So I guess it works out. Uh, but it was because uh, I, I I saw that Krone uh, uh, was. Um, I'm an extra honeycomb piece. Collect six of us to increase your energy bar. Nice. Uh, but she she was uh, playing Super Mario 64, and I think she just knocked out the whole thing in one stream. So she she did she did like 11 hours of streaming. I kind of just had it on while I was uh, doing some stuff on the PC earlier. Yeah, it feels like it's been a really productive weekend uh, for me so far already. I'm actually going to be doing some more stuff later. Uh, like, uh, what a Chad. Yeah, Cr Crony, Crony is just like Chad energy all the time and makes it just, 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 just so easily. 
Yeah. Sounds difficult, and I'll get my fur wet. Come on, Banjo. I want to swim. Spill the beans, Specky. <laughs> She's so bitchy. <laughs> okay, control to slip on the surface. Press on water. Press B to dive. Okay, B to dive, not A. So B is opposite of jumping. That makes sense. So, okay, great camera angle. That's why we press R. Okay, so I can just move around and then dive. While underwater, Banjo could press A to kick his legs. And the Winged Wonder could press B to use her wings. Okay, so I'm checking. You can't do both at the same Oh, no, you actually can do both at the same time, it seems. But I think it's probably better to just do the B. Yeah, oh, yeah. There we go. There we go. Um, oh, yeah, I just finished my thought that I was saying earlier. Like, yeah, like, there probably was somebody, maybe lots of somebodies, who back in 1973 um, played... Played, uh, 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 yeah, they were listening to Dark Side of the Moon, uh, and, uh, also in alternating that with reading Gravity's Rainbow, uh, which were both brand new at the time. Uh, it's pretty cool. Uh, let's see here. Oops, whoopsie. Can I do this? Nope. Ugh. Alright, any other... I'm just kind of looking around for if there's any other molehills. Yep, there's one here. Wanna, yeah, I don't want to like miss an important tutorial thing. I uh, hope the audio's been good, everybody. Tell me about... I've got, I've got the game audio turned down pretty significantly, so if that's too quiet, let me know. Okay, climbing trees. Seems pretty straightforward. You'll find plenty of other things to climb. Yeah. But man, Kronay's got such a great voice. Uh, like, it was one of those things that like, I was, you know, I had it on while I was uh, working on other things, because it's like, oh, you know, if I wanted to, whenever I wanted to watch it, I didn't have to, uh, oh, crap. Um, I didn't have to, uh, you know, really worry about the language that much, because, like, I'm entertained by seeing how she's playing. Uh, and, uh, but, like, even when I wasn't, it was strange. It was almost like, she just has a really nice voice. I don't want to say soothing, but she has a good cadence and a good enunciation. I guess it's her accent. She has a, she has a different accent than most of the other Polo Live Japan, uh, people. But uh, you know, there's a reason she's probably yeah. Shock and surprise. Uh, uh, one of the one of the key figures behind the uh, the uh, millions of people who have fallen into the uh, VTuber rabbit hole is uh, is really good streamer. <laughs> so good that uh, even in other languages it works. Dang it! Oh, freaking hell! I hear the animal Jennifer's. Okay, okay, let me let me practice uh how am I gonna do how do I do the Okay I can't I can't do like a jump that way. Can I Yeah, so I think I just have to like be at the kinda time the apex of the jump. No parkour for me. Yeah. Ah, uh, parkour. Alright, alright, here we go, here we go. Whoa! Yes! That's it. Yeehaw! Look out for me! I'm an extra life! Hoo <laughs> hoo uh, Alright. Okay. Um. Bit of, bit of, <laughs> bit of bad news uh, that I had to deal with uh, when I was booting this shit up. Uh, hold on. Uh, just making sure I've gotten all the... All the stuff. Uh, some I thought that somebody had hacked into my Nintendo account, but uh, when I was like setting up the capture card again, and because you know I of course I plugged it while I was working on all this stuff, um, and uh, I had not been hacked. Uh, let's just say there was somebody who knew my password, and uh, they took advantage and fucked around with me on uh, with my account in a very rude way. Okay, I've got some, at least I've got some, like, short stuff. Hold Z, then press B for a powerful beaky barrage. Nice! We just killed that presumably sentient creature. 
She is used for some. I'm trying this move out on you next, Jam Jars! Jam Jars? I wonder if that means because he's shortened, like, cylinder. He's shortened cylinder shaped like a jam jar, or maybe it's a reference to his, uh. His, his glasses. Dang, let me, let me find the rest of these, I think. Um. Andrew, it's time for you to learn the claw swipe attack. What is it? I must know. Simply press B when standing still or moving slowly. Sounds good. What could I try it out on? Well, how about bird brain? Just try it, bottle boy. That definitely was a reference to the glasses. The Coke bottles. Slides so over the challenge. Ah, there's Topper. Whack him with ba whack him, Banjo. Oop, whoops. Wait, oh wow, one HP. <laughs> wow, nice one. Try another. Hey, I want some moves. We just got you moves. Oh, okay. So that's specifically it has to be the bear swipe. It looks like. Now try my. I do lay over. She's yeah. I want to learn to fly now. Roll by running and press B. I'll see if I can find ball for you to practice on. Ball the onion. Yeah. Whoop. Whoop. Bullseye. One more. Stop rolling. I feel sick. <laughs> it's time for the buzzard to learn a trick. <laughs> it had better be a good one, Squinty. I, 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 we're losing track of the names. <laughs> this is like Beowulf out here. Jumping and pressing B in the A. Air. Now where's Collywobble? Collywobble sounds like it could be a, a, a what do you call it? Um, a uh, like a Charles Dickens character. That's it! You've learned all the basic moves! Meet me at the top of the spiral mountain and I'll tell you what to do next. Uh, but I think I'm missing a spiral. I, I feel like I may be misgrabbing one somewhere. Let me think, let me think. Because is, is, is there like one per... Per, uh... Molehill? Because there was one here I grabbed. Hmm... And I think I got one here. Yeah, I broke broke them all up, so I got one there. Hmm. Uh, but yeah, speaking of tickets, the other thing I did today was I finally finished the uh, Pickwick Papers. Wow, that was a long one. Uh, definitely was the longest Charles Dickens book I've re read yet. Yeah. Oh, that's different. That's like the hell. That's energy, I think. I'm sticky, tasty honey energy. Yum, 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 yum. Honey, it's what's for lunch and dinner and dessert and in the morning forever. Uh, seriously though, I feel as though I'm missing one somewhere. Like, oh, there it is. There it is. Yep. Okay, so that only leaves one. Presumably, that's gonna be at the mountaintop. Is there a first-person counter perspective? Yeah, you could do this, uh, but you can't move around. You could look around, uh, but yeah. Oh, oh, I think I know what you're about to say, Ted Ray. That I should use that to, to you know, find the thing. Uh, to, <laughs> yeah. Well, it's a. It's, that's why they call it a tutorial. Uh, but I would say, yeah, yeah, my copy of, and the thing is, Pickwick Papers is not even, like, the longest Charles Dickens book, uh, certainly not by a long shot. I think that might be Bleak House, uh, but it's, it was pretty hefty. It was, uh, about 770 in the edition that I was reading, not counting the appendix and, you know, like, a, a forward section and stuff. Oh, yeah, let's, uh, let's, let's test also, yeah, creating a suspend point. Really like this feature. Uh, <clears throat> Okay, 
Well done, guys. You're ready to tackle the witch now. We sure are. Show us the way, Bottle Boy. Wait a minute. She already said battle, Bottle Boy. Thanks, Bottles. B -b 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 bottles. Okay, hold on a second. I'm just fixing something in the other monitor. Hello there, Potential Plateau. Um... Yeah, just, 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 just give me a minute, sorry. Um, okay. Hold on. Uh, okay, I feel like we, hold on, did we get, did we get one in the water? Now that I think about it, I think the water was one I didn't, I didn't get something. Right, no fall damage there at least uh so where do we go hmm ah what's that what's that there's an opening okay but uh but yeah I, I really enjoyed uh pickwick papers i think it may be a little bit overstayed it's welcome you can kind of see the serialization of it you know <laughs> Right, nice, nice. Got to, got to, got to level up before we even left uh, this area. You know, it's it's, it's, like, it's like whenever I play Breath of the Wild, you know, you gotta you gotta get all the Korok seeds on the starting plateau because you're pretty much never going back there unless you're doing the the the, the DLC trials. I mean, diving in the big pool. Yeah, yeah. Oh. All right. Uh, but something that I was a little surprised about um, was I really was uh, when I was reading Pickwick Papers. Uh, first off, it's very influenced by Don Quixote. Uh, it's it, it's extremely obvious. Um, but I thought there was a definite influence that I think must have carried over to the Lord of the Rings. Actually, oh oh yeah, <laughs> Rule Thirty Four artists. Get your pencils sharpened! It'll make me young and tooty old. Let me go, you fat hag. My brother will come and kick your butt. Yeah, check this assistant out. Great. Yeah, there's many dangers in my lair. Hurry, Klungo. Push the switch. I'm tired of being an ugly witch. Yes, Mr. Scrunty. Power is on. Soon be ready. Battle help! Oh, do we not see the transformation yet? Yeah. All right. There he is. The fun begins. My tricks and traps will see who wins. All right. Fantastic. Um. So let's first come over here. Oh, oh, oh. There's the first jigsaw. Folks, it's amazing how like um they they dedicated an entire game to uh, autism awareness. <laughs> it's me, Mr. Jiggy. Now go and find a picture with a piece missing. Picture? Why did I pronounce it that way? We'll get a game over. Oh yeah, that's right. I think it's when you see it. Okay. Boom 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 boom. All right. Looking for this one piece. Look at the detail on the side here. The monstrous stuff. This is the first world, Mumbo's Mountain. To open the door, you will need to find the jigsaw picture with an image of this area on it. Have a look around. It can't be far away. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I guess now here's where I should uh, actually do it. Hit the save. Okay. All right. To enter the world shown in the picture, you must fill in the missing spaces with the jigsaw. Yeah, duh. Jigsaw pieces. We've got the first jigsaw piece, Goggle Boy. What, at what point is, is she just being a tsundere? Press A. If you don't want to use any jigsaw presses, press B to leave. Oh, yeah, that's right, because I think there's a thing where you can kind of, like, skip ahead, sort of. But let's keep it simple for now. All right. Mumbo's mountain is open. That was such an easy fit. The others may just test your wit. But yeah. 
Um, hold on. I feel like there's another one here somewhere. Or, I don't know. No, no, no. I think it's just the one. They want to get you to the tutorial. <laughs> Excuse me. Okay. So, here we are. I'm talking to you across the dimensions. There's three new moves to learn in this world. Find my molehills and I'll explain. Well, you're just talking to me now. Oh yeah, these little things. I think this is like a recurring one. You gotta rescue the little the little bird girls or something. Meow, 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 meow. That's what you sound like. Uh, okay, okay. Got to uh, get reacquainted with things. Oh yes, the notes. The key to it all. I'm a note, one of a hundred on each world. Collect us to open the note doors. Ow! You bitch! Oh. Okay, let's try this. How you like that? Huh? Had enough? Oh god. Uh, is he just gonna lay there? <laughs> Don't make the children get too existential now. Oh, oh god. Oh, what's this honey? This is like the honeycomb thing. Go away, leave my honeycombs alone. Oh, don't do that, you mean? <laughs> Gotta rescue the dinos. That's it. The dinosaurs. Fucking shit. Hold on. Gonna jump it! Oh, that didn't work. Things a bit slippy, huh? Find me, and I'll teach you how to get up steep slopes. No, not I don't need. Oh, that was much easier. Well, he just lays there. <laughs> it's funny. Oh man. Ow. Really? Come on, come on. Fine, try it, try me, try me, try me, try me, try me. Oh gosh. Alright, that's the third one, rule of three, right? Come on! I'm gonna die. Uh, it is going to happen. Uh, yeah. Hey there, Alec. Love Crash Bandicoot. <laughs> it's such a stupid joke, but it works for me. The conga tree. Me hit bear with oranges. Okay. Come here. Oh, this is a great one to go for when I'm fucking, uh, when I'm on one health. Here we go. Come on, you Donkey Kong reject. Alright, was that all of them? Or I guess not. Oh, yep, fuck me. Oi, what was that? Oh, uh... Oh. What's wrong, Banjo? Is it tough? Let me know when you've had enough! And, uh... But that's not the full game over. Grunty's magic stops you taking the notes off the world, but the nine you just collected counts as your best note score. Try to get a hundred on each world as they are needed to open the note doors. I knew that was gonna happen too when I only had one of those things. Ooh, yes, yes, yes. Find the things. Oh, let's go. Let, let's go. Um, let's go talk to this dino. Dynamite. <laughs> oh yeah. Wait, I have to check my. Okay, no response there. No, didn't. I kind of screwed that up. Ah, uh, anyway, I hope everybody's had a good Saturday. Do, 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 do,
too. Whee! Nice. Yippee, you saved me. Gruntilda has imprisoned five of us Jingjos. Jinjos, that's it. On each world, free us all to get a jiggy. <laughs> you just make words up. And they call it creativity. Well, hey, you just passed your best note score for this world. Yeah, nice. It's like a current pulling me or something, it feels like. Nice. Yeah, so, so now that I'm done with my uh, Pickwick Papers read-through, I think I'm going to make the big jump through like six different Dickens books chronologically and go right for frickin' David Copperfield. Um, we'll see it. We'll see how it turns out. Oh, I remember the Slippery Slope one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the one I really want because it helps me move around fast. I'm just going to let him hit me. Or I guess I don't really need him to do that. There it is. Nice. Hey, Bluers, time to to save the gingers. Just another gingos over there. We're going to go another. Yeah. We'll help you progress through the witch's lair. Hey there, Optimal Joe. All right, we got people starting to flow in. Return to the start area. Stand on the exit pad. Right now, I want to find the slippery slope one. What is this? Chippy hungry wants orange now. Feed Chippy. Okay. Real rude. Uh, eggs up there. Eat those, huh? I saw Cocaine Bear say she last night. My biggest complaint was the Forest Ranger kept using the words forest and park interchangeably. <laughs> Can't help it. I see Badger give a like. Yeah, no, it's good. Good, good, good. Um, uh, what was I saying? Yeah, David Copperfield. David Copperfield is a big boy. David Copperfield is uh, definitely more than 800 pages. I'll be trying to get through it because I want to try to do that by the end of the month, and it's already the 4th. So, uh, we'll see what happens. You know, that whole March of the Mammoths thing. We love alliteration, folks. Uh, I, yeah, I definitely don't want to leave here without finding the molehill that lets me, uh, get up the slopes. Um. I can play this because I work for the Forest Service. Oh, yeah, I know that, I know that. I know you, you travel around for them. Uh, that's what I figured it was. Oh, I see that. I see that molehill. Alright. I call this the Beak Buster. Jump into the air, then press Z to send Kazooie slamming down, hard down to the floor. Mm, I don't like the sound of that, Banjo. Let's see. Girl, you'll be using it a lot. Let's see here. Nice, nice. Destroying homes and getting jiggies. Actually, not jiggies, the notes. Ow, how about. Fuck you! How do you like that, bitch? Alright. Shooting for a hundred. I don't remember if in Banjo Kazooie it's like uh, Super Mario 64 where you can. Um... Oh, eggs. Eggs. Where are the eggs? Kazooie can learn to use us as ammo. Oh, yeah, she like shoots them at her butt. Uh, not this day, though. Oh, but anyway, I was saying, I don't remember if this is like Super Mario 64 where there's more than 100 notes, but you'll get a star for. Getting the hundred or or not? Oh, nice. Hello there. Another Jinjo. Okay, extra extra life. We're like out of her mouth. Yeah, I think it probably is out of her mouth. So I was thinking of normal bird activity. And done! Very nice. And I think there's one up here. Oh, let's get the. Eat Kombokum, speaking of Corone. Me Mumbo's token, used for Mumbo magic. Another quick one. 
Freaking speed running out here! Ah, 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 ah. Oh, hello. Mm -hmm. Me Mumbo, best shaman in all game, can help Banjo and Filthy Feather. One. Krone, Krone, Krone is dog, okay? Mumbo magic tokens hit by witch. Five tokens and Mumbo help you. Banjo not got enough tokens for Mumbo magic. Look at side, bring more. At least we got some more notes. <laughs> oh, I like you see. You see, notice how the uh, the decoration on the walls changed. It's not the faces that it was before. Now it was uh, what do you call it? Uh, these are my fault. It was a uh, Mumbo images of himself there. Yeah. We do do mumbo token pole feed us with nice blue stones. Yeah, so I can't do that yet. I haven't learned uh, the technique. Technique! 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 Oh, another jig get there. Oh, yep, she ate another one. Ooh. Oh, I heard a whistle somewhere. Eat come, bow come. <laughs> oh, come on, seriously? What are you? Okay, okay. Slow down. There we go. Wow, amazing what happens when my head's not up my ass. And this brings us back to the starting area. So obviously there is uh, something I'm missing around here because I've only found one mole hill, and I think there's supposed to be three. Okay. Quite sure there's only supposed to be three. Only supposed to, you know. What I mean. Oh 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 oh! Ha ha ha! All right, let's look around over here because I got distracted. Hmm. No mole hills over there. Looks like. Oh, whoops. Didn't mean to zoom like that. Here we go. Yippee! You've collected enough notes to break the first note door spell. Thank you. Play very much. The Talon Trot will let Kazooie tackle steep slopes with ease. That sounds useful. How does she do it? Hold Z, then press the left C button. Continue to hold Z while moving Kazooie around with the control stick. Go practice. Okay, so. Mmm, your energy is a little low. I'll fill it up for you. Oh, thank you. One really low, I'd say, but it's, it's that button. Yeah, the only way to travel. And we got another jigsaw. Hey, so Hollow Knight versus Digisod, Hollow Knight feels like their characters are wrong with that. Huh, but energy self feels like they can more or less be themselves. I think the difference is that Whole Live gives them characters at first, and then they end up losing those characters and becoming something else. Uh, all the Holo Tori crew is uh, is quite uh, infamous for this. Hey guys, remember when uh, remember when uh, Subaru was a was a physical training coach or something? You know, <laughs> but now what is she? She's an idol. Whoop. Yeah, wait, whoops, whoops, whoops. Oh, no way, Anna Alouette. Yeah. I actually found out uh, just today that a former Hololive member um, became uh, became an independent VTuber a few months ago. She uh, she had, she has like the same character designer and stuff. Obviously, it's not the same character, but um, you know, she was you know, it's good. It's good. Good for her is basically what I'm saying. You know, glad she was able to work it out. All right, another Jinjo. They like paper airplanes. <laughs> Remember when I was a kid when I learned to make paper airplanes? I always use colored, you know, paper when I could. Or Vox. Yeah, yes, you could very well be right. Whoop! Did you ever get to watch Niji Trolley Problem? What? Like, like is that a Niji-san thing? 
I love a good trolley problem. Hold on a sec. Uh, Niji san trolley problem. Oh man, I typed in trolley problem and it auto filled. It's oh god, long stream. Please no unmonetize. Uh, other Hayden, how are you? Are you playing Kazooie? Yeah, yeah, I am. I uh, just wanted to do something a little chill. Um, you know, also something that I can kind of walk away from. I don't know how long I'm going to be streaming here. I think that's the last Jinjo! Woohoo! That one always feels the best. Bam, bam! All right. Um, as, yeah, I'm going to go see some friends. We're going to catch up on something we've been meaning to watch, like, literally since January. Early January, the 4th. I really love their Cards Against Humanity video. <laughs> uh, peak black comedy. All for gals humor. You see, and and and, and uh, that that could be good. Like black comedy could be really good. Apparently, though, and I haven't looked too much into it. Apparently, there is currently an independent VTuber out there who is just like a neo-Nazi, <laughs> which. Uh, all right, geez, I wonder why she's indie. I wonder why no uh, no agencies are picking her up. <laughs> but that's just the way it is. Oh man, here's some sad news though. Yeah, uh, y'all hear about Pika me or Pika me? Excuse me. Like I, I'm not gonna say that I was like you know a huge fan of her because you know she was she you know she would stream in uh, Japanese. And, you know I'm mostly like I only have so much time to follow so many people, but. Um, yeah, basically she was a uh, she was like a really beloved VTuber and uh, is gonna be retiring at the end of the month. Uh, I had seen some of her stuff, like uh, her collab with the first time I ever saw her was when she collabed with Ina. Uh, that was an absolutely hilarious stream. Very cute, extremely cute scene. You know, beware. You know, uh, uh, it, it is said that about ten percent of the people who watch that stream contract uh, con. Contract, contract diabetes, yeah. Um, but like, the, the part I especially remember was when they were playing Uno, except it wasn't called Uno, it was called Last Card. But Pika Me kept forgetting to declare Last Card so the game wouldn't end. It just kept going and going and just, she only did a, yeah, just basically any time during that stream when she triggered her model to have the, the tears streaming down it. But while she's also laughing, it was just fantastic. Okay, so I'm missing I'm missing six notes. Let's uh create a suspend point here. Yep, she gone. She is gone. I'd recommend to anybody that you check out uh Kason's uh remarks on the matter. I think she had a very uh you know short but insightful thoughts. Uh, am I missing something somewhere? Like, really, what is going on here? Is it something under the water? I think I got all the ones that were under here before. So, we got six more to find. Where are they? Probably in the anthill or pool. Yeah. Actually, aren't I missing a, uh... Yeah, I have to get up here somehow. Right, how do I get the orange to this guy? Oh, you know what? Do I knock? Do I knock it off the tree, or hmm? Can I just climb and grab it? Oh, nice, nice. There we go. That conquers on. Put it back. Yum. Oranges are nice. <laughs> eat me, eat me. Chippy like conquers orange. Chippy help fat buried bird. <laughs> oh. Nice. Hey. Okay, yeah, so so we also have, there's got to be a molehill around here that's going to teach me how to shoot these freaking eggs. Right? Oh, it's right there. Okay, what the fuck is going on? There it is. Ooh. Excuse me. Time for the buzzard to learn the ancient ways of the egg. I'm listening, Beetle Breath. <laughs> Do moles eat beetles? Uh, probably. Hold Z, then press the top C button to shoot an egg out your mouth. 
Hey, sounds cool. Anything else? Sure. Press the bottom C button instead, and you can shoot them out from behind. Sheesh. Sounds painful. I wish I'd never asked. <laughs> I was right. They do get shot out of the butt. It's in your backpack, and you can also use the control stick to aim while you are crouching. Exciting, huh? Now that you've learned to the e use the eggs, here's 50 to practice with. Goodness. Whoa, Banjo, there's nothing more I could teach you on this world. Yeah, look at all these eggs. Yum, 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 yum. Uh, be safe here. Ouch, your egg hurt, Conga. Really? What's going on? Why does it not do anything? Do I have to like shoot out my ass now? Really? Okay. There we go. Okay, that was just weird. Bear feet, Conga feet give price to bear. Alright, I'm fucking farming these. Oh, there's something up there. Okay. Nice. Okay. Uh, it seems to just be more eggs. Oh, another Ikumbokum! I said we're missing a couple of those also. So there must be some section of this map I'm missing. Let's go open up a door or something. Alright, well, that's back. That's back outside. Uh, good to know though, Kashira. Um, so yeah, there there must be an area or two I'm just missing. Oh, whoop. That's got a couple of the to mumbo tokens, and oh, there's one right there. Guess he gotta gotta check every angle. Your surprise from every angle. Could there be two like you? No way. Uh oh yeah, we could feed these guys the stones. Let's see, can I just do it like that? Okay, awkward. Hmm. Okay. Oh, right. What the what the f? Hello, Jacob Brown. Good to see ya. Okay, that's a jigsaw. But where is the money and the mumbos? I said money. You know that you know money. Jeez, oh, turned into a freaking what's his name from uh, Rounders. Uh. We're looking for the mumbo tokens and some notes. You know. Baby man, he's money. <sighs> I got. There's got to be a little zone here somewhere. I I'm not gonna hundred percent this whole game. I'm quite sure, but there's got to be an area. Aha! Here we go. Yeah, there either has to just be something we're missing. Hey, ugly. No bears allowed! Okay, how, how many? Where, four of these. We're missing one mumbo token and six jigsaws. Okay. Yeah, I thought, I thought we were only on three mumbos. So, uh, that's good. That's good. Oh, what? Oh, okay. That's fine. Whoop, 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 Oh, geez, I think I remember getting frustrated in this part. Yep, yep, I don't... <sighs> I think I have to, like, sprint this section or something. I don't I don't quite remember, but I, I feel like there was supposed to be some kind of trick here that uh, I'm not aware of. Let me, let, me, let me do this. Yeah, I gotta get up there somehow. Whoop! Whoa. Gotta be an ant. 
Really? Well, how do I be an ant? Is that something I learned later? Climb here. I don't... Okay. What? What's um? What's the deal here? Uh. Meister's mold, sorry, the mumbo hut. Oh yeah, get the mumbo thing first and right, right. Good thinking. Thank you very, very much. Yeah. Uh so at least it's close by. I'll get used to that noise. <laughs> we wake up! Ah, Bajo has plenty tokens. Stand on skull and press B to see mighty mumbo magic. I still keep my backpack, yeah. Mumbo magic, free to change back. You come when ready. Termite bit small, but not bad for first bed. Mumbo practice needed. Yeah. I'm a termite, not an ant. Guys, he turned me into an ant. Funny, funniest shit I ever seen. Or termite. Funniest shit I ever seen. Woo, yeah. Woo. Oh, look at how your mouth opens up. You're so excited. Woo. Oh, boy. <laughs> Wait, was it over here? Yeah. Excuse me, excuse me, just coming right through here, everybody. You don't need to worry about me. This is just by a natural habitat and all that. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Here they last are. Hey, where did you get those shorts? I want them. That's a hundred! You found all 100 notes on this world. Well done! Well done, that's it. Okay. Um, okay, yeah, let's go over here. Give me that cool backpack, or else we'll be jump. Alright, so presumably this is the last jigsaw piece. We're probably going to a jigsaw piece. Oh, just going to squeeze in there. Alright, great. This might be the last one. Number 10. 10 seems like a good round number. Okay, yeah, the, that noise uh, implies to me that that was everything. Or, hmm. Enjoy the victory with a nice view, yep. And never was able to figure out how to kill that bull. Alright. Uh, hopefully this doesn't send me out as a termite. Da, 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 da. Hold on a sec, weren't there, weren't there supposed to be empty honeycombs somewhere or other? In there? Hold on, can I, can I, I, I want to see if, oh gosh, it's going to show all the notes again. I think I respawn the notes. Okay, at least I didn't do that, but, uh... Hmm. Uh, yeah, the notes are back. I'll be rude! Also, it looked like it uh, did, in fact, switch me back. Or did, did not switch me back, is what I meant to say. Come on. This way. Okay. Is 
Don't think we had any honeycombs this level. Alright. Yeah, I, I'm not even sure where to check that. <laughs> Some should be in the tutorial provided more than enough. Yeah. Okay. Now we come up here. Or am I supposed to get up there? Hmm. What the heck? Okay, you know what, we're gonna, um, I think we're gonna stop it there for today, uh, cause I do have other things to take care of, but thank you very much to those of you who joined me, it seems as though the, uh, new computer and thereby new setup is all, what was that, what was linked out there, but yeah, termite legs. Oh, son of a bitch! You know what, uh, fine, let's, let's go, okay, we're gonna get that, we're gonna get the jigsaw and then I'm calling it. Uh, for today, uh, yeah, freaking termite legs, Lieutenant Dan. <sighs> B, switch me. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. You've got to carry that bear, carry that bear a long time. Ooh, you've got to carry that bear. The Bertels. Dun 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 dun. Termite legs. Bum, bum, bum. Okay. And with that, we're going to stop it for the day. Uh, good to know that the game capture is working. Uh, we'll do some more streaming tomorrow. Uh, just a bit. Uh, probably, yeah, I'd say it's going to be morning streaming. Um, and uh, thank you all for joining me. Glad, you know, thanks, thanks, especially because like you know, I wanted to make sure that the audio was straight, so that was that was the main thing. But that's going good, and I'm hoping in the next week, um, we're gonna say Wednesday night, maybe. Oh no, not Wednesday. Shoot, I can't do I can't do Tuesday, Wednesday, or Thursday. Let's call it, uh, where did you get those shorts? Uh, let's say Monday, tentatively, we should be seeing a return to Hearts of Iron Ford. If not, that Monday's gonna have to wait till Friday. But we'll see. You all take care, have a pleasant evening, good night.